Every state experiences natural disasters. In this video, we will highlight 11 disasters that are likely to occur in Washington. Floods. Flooding is the most destructive natural disaster in Washington. Severe floods occur at least once every four and a half years. The main reasons are excessive amounts of precipitation and, depending on the season, rapid snowmelt. Wildfires. Washington State averages more than a thousand wildfires in a given year. The fire season begins in mid-April and ends in mid-October, but most of them occur during the summer months. Severe storms. Washington experiences a variety of intense storms, including heavy rainfall, strong gusty winds, and hail. Thunderstorms occur too, but they're not as common. Landslides. The mountainous topography of Washington makes it one of the most landslide-prone regions in the country. Hundreds, if not thousands, of landslides occur each year. Earthquakes. There are roughly 1,000 earthquakes in Washington per year, most of which are weak. The state ranks second in the nation when it comes to the risk of destructive earthquakes. Tsunamis. Tsunamis are a possibility in Washington. Any seismic activity between Alaska and California can bring in significant waves. The main threat lies in the Cascadia subduction zone, located just off the coast of the state. Drought Just like any other place, there are times when there's very little precipitation in Washington. The longest period of drought lasted 116 weeks. At one point, almost 85% of the state was under extreme drought. Volcanoes There are five main volcanoes in Washington state. Mount Adams, Mount Baker, Glacier Peak, Mount Rainier, and Mount St. Helens. The latter two are a major threat to the state. Winter storms. The winter season varies throughout the state of Washington. The eastern portion tends to experience colder winters, while the western parts may see less snowfall and more rainfall. Power outages. Any natural or man-made disaster can lead to power outages if electrical systems are disrupted or damaged. Under ideal circumstances, the power will be fixed within hours, but it's not uncommon for it to be out for days. Tornadoes. Washington averages two to three tornadoes per year. These are generally categorized as EF1 or lower. The stronger ones are not completely off the radar. The most vulnerable part of the state is the eastern region. Natural disasters are inevitable, but preparing for them is your responsibility. I want to invite you to start planning today. We created an in-depth resource with guides, templates, and checklists that will allow you to customize your emergency plan to your specific needs. To get started, visit crisisequip.com forward slash family plan.